Would you want to see Hulk Hogan back on Thursday nights on Impact Wrestling? This is BQ, and I do this for the Global Force Wrestling fan. Well, how about instead of focusing on those yahoos, you focus yourself on E, Lie, Dre. How you doing today, folks? Today we're talking a very hypothetical situation. After I saw Hulk Hogan putting out a video yesterday asking fans if they want to see him return to professional wrestling, I thought about this. Would you want to see Hulk Hogan in any instance return to Global Force Wrestling and be a part of the Impact Wrestling product on Thursdays? Now, if they were able to put Hulk Hogan in the right role, I guess it could be a good thing, and I guess it could be kind of fun. And I don't necessarily blame Hulk Hogan for everything that happened back in the TNA days when he was hired with the company. It's not like he forced anybody's hand. He just played Dixie Carter for a fool. But Dixie Carter was also making a lot of other really bad choices. So what are some of the things that Hulk Hogan was responsible for? Now, we don't know what he necessarily was and wasn't responsible for at all times because we weren't part of the company and didn't always know what was going on backstage. But we know he played a pretty strong influence in the decision-making process. They paid him a lot of money. He insisted on bringing Eric Bischoff. He also made a lot of money. His handpicked stars included guys like Orlando Jordan, Rob Terry, Rob Van Dam, Wes Briscoe, Garrett Bischoff. And he brought his friends in like the Nasty Boys and Jimmy Hart. We saw wrestlers such as Desmond Wolf, Amazing Red, the Young Bucks, Alex Shelley, Doug Williams, Jerry Lynn, and more leave under his time there with the company. They finally got out of the impact zone, something we always saying right now we would like to see happen, but they didn't when they weren't ready in order to try to compete with the WWE on Monday nights. They were doing live programming, and eventually they turned that into a two-episode taping. Remember that time he tried to introduce Open Fight Night and had no idea what he was talking about? I don't think he even knew what the rules were. He kind of made it up as he went. He seemed to open impact, close impact, and see, seemed to be involved in all the storylines, but he couldn't wrestle, so he couldn't really get involved with him, and there was no payoff. And during his time there, the company really lost its identity. It became like a watered-down WWE. They lost a six-sided ring. There was less focus on the X Division, less focus on the Tag Division, and less focus on the knockouts. He put his daughter in charge, which is cool. I'm a Brooke Hogan fan, and I actually enjoy her music quite a bit. But he really started taking over the company, and it really changed the identity. Half the roster came from WWE or WCW. And all the matches seem to be under five minutes long. Now, there's not to say that there isn't some star power that Hulk Hogan could bring if he were to show up on Impact. But what would he do? You can't add another authority figure into the mix because they already got too many already. But if he was cast in the right situation, would you want to see Hulk Hogan come back to the company? Would you be willing to give the Hulkster another chance and just see what he could do? If he just if he just did things the right way and they did things the right way this time and didn't listen to him too much. If he was more of an on-screen talent. So I want to know what you guys think. This is BQ. I do this for the Global Force Wrestling community. So please hit that subscribe button. And we're talking Global Force Wrestling each and every day. Talk to you guys soon. Peace.